This episode of Before the Bat is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the newest edition of Batman The Long Halloween. We're talking issue 11 and when I say we, I mean me and Tyler. Yep, that's right. I'm back. Yes, that's right. Uh, Lilith is out of town. She is at the uh, wedding of Before the Bat co-host Kelly. Soon to not be Marvia. <laughs> yeah, that's why she'll forever just be known as Kelly. Kelly. But uh, I usually have some kind of, I'm trying to have some kind of funny line for the holiday, but this really is a made-up holiday <laughs> because August really doesn't have a holiday, so they did Carmine the Roman Falcone's birthday. Hey, it works. It was a smart move. They're like, what happens in August? Um, hmm, let's see what birthday? Sounds good. Mm-hmm. So they do the big crime, crime uh, boss's birthday. Uh, but this is this is actually a big issue, though. I, I didn't even realize until I reread this. Uh, this is the this is the issue where Harvey Dent gets the acid thrown in his face. Yep. And I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, when does this? I know this is happening soon. And I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm like this is it. So like this. May, maybe it's good that it wasn't an actual an actual holiday because that that monumentous event in Batman history isn't, like, overshadowed by, like, oh, it's, uh, it's St. Patrick's Day, or it's Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. Harvey got his face tore up on Mother's Day. Uh, no, he didn't. That's what happened in this. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, that's probably why they did it, so they can't say, yeah, it was on a holiday. So, yeah, it's, it's cool, though. I, I liked it, because I was trying to remember... When you were like, hey, don't forget, we're going to record August. I was like, okay, cool, cool. And I was like, what happens in August? Yeah. So it was, it was a nice little refresher. Mm-hmm. And then this is issue 11. So, like, you know, you get that scene of Batman in the bar interrogating the Riddler. And he's, like, all desperate. Because, you know, it's... <laughs> it almost he went on way too long. Yeah, well, this is this is the first year of Batman. That's why they, I think that's why they did it. They said in the first year of Batman, so he's not quite as competent as a detective. I forgot that part, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. It is during the first year because you know it's like this looks bad on my rep, people. Yeah, that, I'm Batman. That, yeah, you couldn't do this later on in your career. So you'd be like, okay, what Batman can't figure this out for a whole year. And they're like, no, mm-hmm. he can't. But there, if there's there's a cool yeah when the bartender comes up, Batman that's a cool thing. He like swings a baseball bat at Batman and he catches Batman catches the end of it. Um, so I reread this again this morning. Um, because Solomon woke up real early and he was just chilling in my arms. So I was like, okay, might as well refresh myself again. But that panel, like, there's some really great panels, and with this one, you have that. He said he's getting desperate. He's in the bar. He's looking for the Riddler. And when you have that scene of him standing there in front of the Riddler, yes, just looking massive. Dent, Dent being confronted by his wife at the beginning. Oh yeah, that was the big yell. Yeah, like, you know, is he holiday? Is he holiday? Look, look, look! His wife's getting nervous. Look, she found the, his quote unquote gun. His, his evidence. And she's like, "Since when do you bring evidence home with you?" He's like, "Always." Uh, I don't know. I really like this one, I think, because it's not trying to stay, like, stuck on one holiday. Mm-hmm. It's just the birthday, because you have the courtroom scene going on at the same time as uh, Falcon's, or Carmine's uh, birthday and the trial are going on at the same time. <laughs> so it's one of those, where were you? Well, yeah. I was here. Oh yeah, that my was my birthday his, party. Oh yeah, that was his definite. That was definitely his alibi. He's like, oh yeah, I had this big birthday party. You know, everyone was there. 
I could have nothing to do with Dent's, uh, you know, attack. Well, he he assumed it was going to be a murder because I, I'm pretty sure they all they all he thought he, Dent was going to get killed because what did they say? Uh, I think Maroney said, "Yeah, that stuff that you threw cement, so they probably figured he, he was going to be dead." But he he isn't. He's scarred, and then later on he he escapes the hospital. And oh, yeah. I just oh, I just got it. I wonder if they did this intentionally or not. Well, yeah. Har- Harvey escapes the hospital, so you figure, uh, you know, maybe we're going to see Two Face by the end of this. How many issues do we have left? Two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> we get the birth of Two Face. There's two issues left. Are we going to see? <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> two Faces in the last two issues, yes. All right. You got us, Jeff Lowe. Got us. <laughs> How many years later and I finally figured that out? And at least you are reading it through, like individual issues, you know, as a, yes. and you don't think as much when you're reading it as like I am the compiled graphic novel version. Mm-hmm. Solomon, he's running around here, my little uh, little superboy, who's a, who's in love with Batman. <laughs> he's like Batman. I'm like, all right, son, it's cool. Yeah, Batman, it's all right. But, and I, I, and I, I swear I always comment on the ads because I have like the original copies of these. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> that's that's what's neat is when you look back at some of like the old comics. Like this don't seem older than they're like Game Genie. You're like, okay, never mind. Basically, you could you could buy a subscription. There's a subscription page in here. You could buy a subscription for it. You know, one year, twelve issues for eighteen bucks. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> yes, it would. That would be really nice. Um, oh, and you can, oh, look what, yes, you could buy a CD, Ultimate Hip Hop Party, 1998. Oh, sweet! That's what I'm saying, when you pick up the graphic novels, sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll feel timeless. Like when they're, like this one, uh, you know, Killing Joke is just a book, it has more of a timeless feel. Mm-hmm. But, all right, all right, here. When you this see, see those ads, you're like, okay, never mind. This will this will set the tone. Okay, there's a big page ad for uh, a recent quote unquote recent movie that's coming to pay per view. What movie is it? Batman Robin. <laughs> no, Mars Attacks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the Forgotten Tim Burton movie. <laughs> Although there 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 are there are uh, links to Batman because they have like pictures of the stars at the top and uh, Jack Nicholson and Danny DeVito are on there. Wow. Now, now the ads just feel like they're all ads for the DC shows. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, this was this was 1997. So, if you were alive, remember where you were at in 1997. This is, oh, the back cover says October 1997. Yeah, October 97. Trying to get over the shame that was Batman and Robin, even though I bought it on VHS. <laughs> And I enjoyed it because it was just fun for me and my brother, but I still knew it wasn't the best movie. But oh, we made no. we made the best of it. We were getting over watching that atrocity known as Steel. <laughs> Thinking Spawn was a good movie, and now looking back, like, ah, that was okay. Well, compared to Batman and Robin, it was. But, uh, oh my god, compared to Batman and Robin, it was Oscar worthy. Shakespeare. But yeah, no, I remember going to see Batman and Robin with like friends and just like coming out of the theater and they're probably all annoyed because I was just like, you know what's wrong with that movie? <laughs> it was like the it was like the stupid sixty six show. <laughs> that's the worst feeling is when you see something that's almost good. Uh-huh. And you're like, why can't they have just done this or this and fix this? I just remember feeling shame because I was just like, you know, people are gonna people are gonna hear I read comic books and they're gonna be like, why? I saw that Batman movie. That wasn't anything good. I just you're like, like, no, it's like nothing even close. You're like, yeah, that one wasn't good, but don't forget, we have the animated series. Exactly. I'm trying to think, what else? There was another comic book movie that year I thought. You know, it was it, just those four, the three. Uh, Superman Lives was canceled. Uh huh. It was a dark time. Batman, <laughs> Batman and Robin set the clock back, probably till. <laughs> Batman Begins? No, well, for DC, yeah, but I was going to say the next uh, comic book movie is probably Blade. Yeah, which was 98. Was it 98? Yeah. Everyone forgets about Blade. 
Uh huh. Yeah, it was ninety eight. Okay, yeah, because I remember who I was with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, even like half, half the public, you know, the people who didn't read comics really didn't even know Blade was a comic book movie. That's why it came out at the very bottom. Marvel, like, oh, must be a production company. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then two thousand X Men. That was really where everyone says it kicked off. But, but we digress. But, yes. So, what was your favorite panel in this book? That's what I was trying to decide. There's those two in the bar, but probably that one you mentioned of uh, Batman standing in front of the Riddler. I like that one, but the other one I really like is uh, the one where it's Maroni throwing the acid in Dent's face. Yeah. That says here, it's just the hand and then the shock and look on his face. Because, like, in the panels before, he starts talking about an ulcer. Mm-hmm. And he's like, ulcer? What? And you, and see, like, you, just, you just see the acid hanging in midair. Yeah, and just he's looking at it like, oh, no. And then the next... It's one of those, like, by itself is a great panel, but when you look in the context of what came right before it and right after it, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, man. And I like how Batman wasn't there in costume. He was there as probably matches Milan. Just some street guy. You know, unlike in Batman Forever, where you have that scene of Batman trying to jump through the crowd and save Harvey, and he's in full-on costume. Uh-huh. In the middle of the day. Okay. I got a question. At the at the end of this issue, Carla Vitti, uh the Roman's sister, gets killed by Holiday. And... I'm always trying to see what, like, you know, holiday themed thing holiday put, put, puts next to the body. And mm-hmm. on the, if you look at the last page, I see the gun, I see the bullets, but what is, can you tell what that is sitting next to the gun and the bullets? I'm looking. It's pretty small. It's like a reference in the corners recorded. I can't tell. Yeah, it's, it's really tiny. I was like, what is that, like a cupcake or something? That's what I wonder, like, if it was something like that, like, happy birthday candles, but it's a weird shape. I can't remember, because I haven't reread the, uh, the next issue yet, so maybe they, unless they reference it, but I don't think they do. No, I don't think they do either. You know what awesome? Hmm. Is it Holiday ended up being nobody? <laughs> oh, it, was a, it was a figment of their imagination. You always wonder, like, in these mystery, mystery stories, I mean, yeah, you get that payoff, it's somebody you've seen, but it's just like they unmask him, and it's somebody you've never seen before. Or, no, what really would be spoiled, this is, this is not spoiled, it's just us throwing out our theories that aren't true, but is if every holiday act of murder was committed by somebody different. Uh, That's why they had trouble with, like, pinning it all down, uh, it's just each one was somebody different. Because, like, someone killed real quick, and then they were like, you know what, that's a good idea, I'm going to copy that. Mm. And somebody else did something. And somebody else did something. Well, I know one of the big, the big things was that, that it was the Roman himself back in the day when this first came out. Because, you know, a lot of Maroni's guys got hit, and then his, his uh, the Roman sister gets killed, who, you know, he had, he had disagreements with. Which is a very solid theory. Mm-hmm. I like that. Songs, he's nodding his head. I think he agrees. He likes that too. We're about to bust out some Cheerios here in a minute. Oh, Cheerios are great. Did you see? Uh, talking about going off topic, did you see? I guess uh, in the fall, I can't wait, but they're coming out with uh, pumpkin spice Cheerios. I know, and you don't know how much that means to people who live around here. Okay, because Circleville here in Ohio has the giant pumpkin show every year. Mm-hmm. And there is pumpkin everything. I mean, even McDonald's starts giving their pumpkin shakes early, pumpkin spice latte. I mean, it's ridiculous. The pumpkin yeah. takes over. It's kind of like that here, because even, I, I know, the well, last couple of years at least, Dunkin' Donuts has, like, pumpkin spice donuts. And... Oh, yeah. We get those from the local bakery here. Mm. It's delicious. Now I'm hungry for pumpkin donuts. Dang it, Phil. <laughs> That's all right. It's all right. But uh, so we're uh, we're talking we're talking about pumpkin spice. Or are we done with this issue? Did we cover this? Yeah, I I think like this one. Like I said, it's I love this issue because it continues the holiday theme. You know, it utilizes 
the Carmine's birthday, but it gives us the birth of Two Face. Yes. It's almost like Carmine's birthday wish was for Din to be taken care of. Oh, well, yeah. They, they, that, that's definitely how they play that. So, I am excited because, like you said, we have the birth of Two Face and two issues left. All right. Well, then, let's get out of here. Um, Tyler, where can people contact you for your sage wisdom on the DC universe? Uh, you can definitely find me online on Facebook and Twitter. I'm always, I love, uh, I try to get everything synced up to at JTY Patrick. So that's my email, JTY Patrick at Gmail. Uh, find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter. And also, uh, over on the Krypton Report, which is being updated this week, Rob is uh, updating some of the episodes we've done that just haven't been posted yet. So check that out. We're gearing up for Supergirl Season 2. A lot of cool stuff going on there. You need to talk right. about it. The Legends of DC are, is coming. Our, our big, massive uh, podcast where you'll hear about all the DC, uh, all the uh, CW shows and maybe even more stuff. So, I mean, technically, it's uh, I say CW, but it's every DC show, but Gotham. Yeah, but we might we might even include that. We'll see. It's just in its own little pocket universe. The whole, you know, the whole it's 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 a kind of a different animal. You know, it's set in, it's kind of set in the past. Oh yeah. And it, there's there I, are I, superpowers and. Yet. I don't want it to tie into the rest of them because then you just want Batman. You're like okay. Uh huh. But. And then, and, then it's, and then it's all like, oh, well, all these guys like Flash and Arrow and Supergirl are all older than Batman? Okay. Yeah, and then you're like, wait a minute. They have more advanced technology? Unless the whole thing's like, now, Gotham, seven, ten year jump in the future. Yeah. But uh, it's, all, it's all good. Leave it, let it be. Let's it do its own thing. It's its own beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you can... And it, if anyone has any questions, you want to discuss any DC or Marvel, or like I said, discuss the upcoming uh, Legends of the DC podcast we're going to do, you can always email me, nightwingpdp at gmail.com. On Twitter, I am at nightwingpdp. Uh, and, well, if you're listening to this, you might be interested in Batman, so if you want to contact us before the bat, uh, that email is before the bat at gmail.com. On Facebook, we're uh, before the bat, the got podcast, and our Twitter is at before the bat pod. All right. Well, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, come back next month for, uh, where is it? I guess Labor Day. Yep. Good old Labor Day. The last hurrah. And that's, the last and that's hurrah September. Summer. Yeah, probably what, the beginning and, of September. And then I can't believe it's actually been a year since we started this. I know. When we have, you know, here when we do the last issue. Mm-hmm. We'll should pick a different one after this. Like We could do Dark maybe, We could do, like, Dark yeah. Victory. That's what I was thinking, like, because it's a, basically a sequel. Uh-huh. And do, like, because cause these books are pretty epic. That'd be a good one to do, I think. And continue on. Because it's neat, you know, to discuss and look at things. When you read a graphic novel collection, you don't break it down issue by issue. You just read a lot of times straight through. But when you have the ability to look at it as each segmented issue, sometimes there's more. Oh. I hear the Batman theme playing. That means Solomon is watching Batman animated series. Oh, they're calling you. All right. All right, everyone. Join us uh, in September for uh, the Labor Day edition of The Long Halloween. Till then, stay safe. <laughs>